Well, with all this beautiful weather lately, perfect time to get out on the lake and enjoy a day of fishing. On this week's segment of Fishing Tips, Ray and Mandy talk about using crankbaits. Tonight we talk, like to talk a little bit about using crankbaits for fishing. Crankbaits are a very, very effective tool for catching everything. As uh, we had mentioned in an earlier show, you can use little tiny ones for panfish. You can use bigger ones for bigger fish. So you can use a crankbait from everything in Minnesota from a panfish to a muskie. And they're, they're not cheap anymore. I can remember when they were a buck and a half, but they're getting a lot more expensive. But they are still very, very effective. And if you're not sure how, what kind of a crankbait to select, we're gonna give you a few tips on the, how to select a crankbait for the kind of fishing you're gonna do. So let's talk about casting them. When you're casting cranks, uh, you've got a couple of different options and some things that you should know about. You can have a square bill crankbait, and this is really good if you are going to be around uh, wood or rocks or things like that, because this little crankbait will smash into it and then it'll bounce off the corner and so it won't get hung up in it. See the opposite end is where it's got a rounded tip here. So when this hits something, it slides off the side of any kind of, uh, of structure. These around wood, rocks, things like that are more likely to get hung up than you do with the square bill. This particular product is called a Wally Diver. This is something I love to use in the river systems. I've used this up in Canada, caught many big walleyes with this. And you can get these in a variety of sizes all the way down to you know about like that and even little crankbaits have caught big walleyes for me and when you're trolling with these it's, it takes a little while and a little practice to figure out how deep they're going and when you buy a product it should have on the box how it's how much depth it's rated for and that not only to look at the bill but to get an idea of the depth by what it says on here so if you're fishing in 12 feet of water you don't want a crankbait that's going to go down 25 feet because you'll just strictly be in the weeds the whole time so you can actually get crankbaits that you control right over the top of weed lines and they will not dive down deep or you can get crankbaits that go very deep all the way down to 25 feet of water and it's a great way to catch bass and walleyes and northern pike. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.